Greg from Fujifilm Canada. And I'm Billy Luong. And together we're the Fuji Guys. Hey, welcome to this video uh, on the EXR technology. Um, you bought the F200, uh, you noticed and maybe someone's told you or you've read about EXR technology. Uh, having been around cameras for many, many years and digital cameras, I can honestly tell you this is the most exciting and most intelligent technology uh, for sensors that's ever come out. I have to agree, Greg. Yeah, and we've already won a couple of awards for this technology, Billy, and it's certainly being recognized amongst our peers and uh, in our industry, but again, mostly it's out there to benefit you, the end user. So before we get into the EXR technology, I just want to quickly describe something about image sensors or CCDs that are in cameras. Um, everyone seems to be really focused on megapixels. You know, my camera has 10 megapixels, 12 megapixels. And where megapixels uh, or the number of pixels is important, I'll give you that for certain things, uh, it's not the be-all and end-all importance. In fact, it can, it can actually hurt the quality of the picture in certain lighting conditions. Um, I just want to show you three sensors from three different cameras. This one in my hand right now that I'm holding up is a typical sensor in the average consumer digital camera. Uh, it's a one over one two-third inch size sensor and uh, you can see that it's a pretty tiny sensor when I hold it up my uh, little pinky fingernail beside it. The one that I'm going to hold up now is a sensor from a professional digital SLR and you can see how much larger this sensor is. And quite honestly, these could both be 10 or 12 megapixel sensors. Uh, and obviously, there's got to be some reason why this bigger one is much bigger. And it does produce much better quality under low lighting conditions and in higher contrast situations. This third sensor I'll hold up now is a 1 to 1.6 size sensor. And it's the same size sensor that we use in our F200 camera, the EXR uh, camera. And it's pretty much about as big a sensor as you can put into a compact camera and without the camera being too big to not fit in your pocket or something like that. So we use the, let's say, the largest possible sensor to start off with with EXR. And that's a really important factor. So now that we've learned that little bit, I'm going to teach you why the EXR sensor is special or let's, let's say how it works. And really, the EXR can work in three different ways. The sensor will actually physically change the way it reacts in three different lighting conditions. If you've got really, really, you're out, you're out, you're out in the sunlight, uh, the camera will choose, or you can choose for it, the full resolution 12 megapixel, and you'll get beautiful pictures that you can enlarge as big as you ever could imagine. Now we take the camera into the second lighting condition, one that is a low lighting condition where the light is not so good. What happens with the EXR sensor to adjust for that is that the 12 megapixel sensor quickly becomes a 6 megapixel sensor by fusing two pixels together, uh, so 12 becomes 6. And that, I guess, just makes the sensor a lot larger in terms of capturing light, right? It's more sensitive to light. That's right. Each individual photo site will gather light more quickly, which is going to be key when you get into those low lighting conditions. So now we have 6, six million larger pixels, if you will, that gather light more quickly. And the benefit of that is that we'll get a lot less noise in the pictures. So the third lighting condition that, again, is particularly tricky for digital cameras, and anyone who's owned a digital camera is probably familiar with this, or you have pictures like this, where there's very, very dark area and very, very light areas all in the same scene. The digital camera has a hard time adjusting to that. Um, one of the best uh, means of adjusting for that is our own human eye. And really, when we look at EXR technology, it really is trying to mimic what our eye does and how quickly it can adjust to different lighting conditions. So when you do get into this high contrast or high dynamic range uh, situation with very, very uh, bright highlights and very, very dark shadows, the sensor's pixels will actually divide and half of them will become very sensitive to light and the other half will become not so sensitive to light so that uh, we can pick up light at different rates depending on what is in the scene. So the dark area will use the really sensitive pixels to pick up light quickly whereas the really bright areas will use the less sensitive pixels to gather light a little bit more slowly. When the image gets processed together you have 
detail in both of those difficult to capture areas. It's almost like taking pictures of you know HDR photography, which is high def high dynamic range photography, where you're taking a picture of a scene, Greg, mm -hmm. and it's very bright. So you set the camera's exposure to that scene, mm -hmm. and you snap that shot, and then you then take a part of the the scene that's very uh, very dark, and you expose it for that spot, mm -hmm. and you merge those images together. Yeah. That EX, uh, you know. Um, wide dynamic range mode sort of does that for you, right? And it does it right in the camera more right. importantly. So those are the three ways that EXR, uh, I guess, adjusts to the different lighting conditions. And now just a little bit on how the camera. Now everything I told you about these lighting conditions and what the camera does, uh, you don't have to need to know anything about that per se because in the EXR mode, maybe Billy, if you could just show on the camera, Absolutely. the mode dial, so if we take a look at the back of the camera, you see that it's EXR mode, if you set it up to that, so I'll just dial it in, it's already there kind of. You've noticed that the camera's set up to the EXR auto mode, so if I just turn on the camera quickly, let's take a look at that there, you can see uh, that it's set up to the uh, EXR auto mode, which is great. It automatically will change the scene sensor into whatever scene mode it is. So if you're looking at a, a low light mode where you're shooting indoors, the, the camera's EXR auto mode is going to switch it to that low noise or signal to noise um, mode. And if you're shooting in a high contrast scene, maybe in a wedding where it's very bright and very dark, it's going to switch it to that dynamic range mode. Mm -hmm. And of course, if it's good lighting and the camera doesn't need any of the other extra features, it's going to shoot at the high resolution, high megapixels, so that you can make extremely large prints and take full advantage of that mm -hmm. sensor uh, megapixel size. So if we take a look at the menus, uh, you can access that shooting in the auto mode, which is great, which the majority of, I think, our consumers are going to be using it yeah. at. But if you're like me and you, you know exactly the situation that you're shooting at, and let's say you're going into a wedding and you know that you're going to be shooting all days indoors, you can actually manually set the EXR mode to shoot in that low noise uh, priority mode. So again, go to access to that, you go into the menu. In the shooting mode, you will switch, in the shooting over, mode, to you will switch it over the to high the high noise. ISO and low push noise. The okay you push the menu OK and button, and now you have it set to that mode. And it's going to take the best possible pictures in that low light type of situation. Of course, you can also shoot in, in uh, a wide dynamic range mode. Again, going out to the, um, to the uh, you know, if you're after, uh, after the wedding, you want to go out to a nice, bright, sunny day that's high contrast. Again, push, Again, the, push menu the menu button, set it to the, set shooting, it to the shooting mode, and set it and to D range, range priority. And of course, and of course last mode, which is sort of the high resolution mode, uh, again, uh, again to going to the menus, you, you can select the resolution, the resolution priority, priority would give you the HR, the HR mode for the uh, high res 12 megapixel file. file. Mm. So that's sort of the manual mode options with the EXR. Of course, again, you can shoot in the auto mode that does everything for you. Yeah, okay. I guess the closing comment on EXR technology essentially is that it's an incredible technology, and whether you know anything or everything about photography and lighting, uh, the XR can work fully automatic for you, or if you want to, you can use it manually as well. Uh, either way, it's a, just a fantastic technology and an excellent photographic tool to have built right into your digital camera. Um, I've already spoken to a few photographers who said they're going to use a lot of, uh, or save a lot of time in Photoshop <laughs> because of what this camera can do right in the camera. Well, that's great, Greg. So, uh, again. Well, I'm Greg. And I'm Billy. And we're the Fuji guys. We'll Thank see you, you very next much. video.